What's up guys, it's your boy Reaver and today we are back with more Detroit Become Human. Last time we blew up Jericho, but we saved the majority of our people. And Connor became a deviant. Kara got out with Alice, but I believe Luther went down with the ship. Though I can't be entirely sure because we don't see him anymore after they left him behind. But, you know what to do before we get this episode started. Go down there, subscribe, turn on those notifications, and slap that like button if you enjoy these Let's Play kind of videos. And let's get right into it, shall we? Alright. Marcus comes up. Oh. Oof. How's this reunion going to go? <laughs> oh. Alarm deactivated. Welcome home, Marcus. <laughs> the house still recognizes him. survived. Okay. Thank God. Who are you? How did you get in? I need to see Carl. Carl isn't seeing anyone. You need to leave. Please, I need to see him. He's very weak. I'm not sure he'll be able to talk to you. He's only gotten worse. Marcus, I was hoping you'd come. I missed you so much, girl. You don't know how much I miss you. What's wrong, Marcus? I'm completely lost, girl. The whole world's falling apart around me. I try to do the right thing. I look for answers. I Instead, I just find more doubts and more uncertainty. The world is ruled by fear, Marcus. Fear of others. Fear of the future. It's like me, too old. It's time for a damn. Well, what should I do? Carl, they're killing my people. I, I don't want to answer violence with violence, but tell me, what choice do they give? Being alive is making choices between love and hate, between holding out your hand or closing it as a fist. I don't have any easy answers, Marcus. You have to accept the world as it is or fight to change it. You're my son, Marcus. Our blood isn't the same color. But I know part of me is in you. When the world falls into darkness, some men have the courage to lead it out. One of those men. 
face the abyss. But don't let it consume you. Poor Carl. <sighs> my computer and my PS4 are running really loud right now. <laughs> Oof. How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred? Maybe more if you count those hiding A lot more than city. there would have been. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. They say they don't want to take any risks with deviants. So they're rounding our people up and taking them to the camps. For extermination. In a few hours, we're going to be the only ones left. What's your system status? I'm okay. Well, it didn't hit any bike components. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. You have to think of our people first. Nothing else matters. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed no, the world. No, I couldn't do that. Have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. Whatever you choose, we will follow you. I love you, Marcus. Look at you, Marcus. You found something that a great many humans never find in their lifetime. I thought you'd be safe staying with us. I was wrong. You need to leave the city while you still can. Getting Alice away from here is all that matters now. We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border. Marcus. Save our people. Our people are counting on you, Marcus. You're the only one who can lead us. Wherever you need to go, we'll follow you.
I appreciate you, Simon. You have no idea how much. Talk to Josh first, then Connor. If it weren't for you, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see our people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know that we're fighting for the same thing. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus. These people are like family now. It's my fault the humans managed to locate Jericho. I was stupid. I should have guessed they were using me. I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. You're one of us now. Your place is with your people. Throughout this whole game, are you There are thousands me? of androids at the Cyberlife assembly plant. I could never turn my back on you. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. You want to infiltrate the Cyberlife Tower? Connor, that's suicide. They trust me. They'll let me in. If anyone has a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. Oh, if you go there, they I will just kill realized. You. There's a high probability. A moment before he went to look at the evidence. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance. That was probably for unlikely events to take place. A key moment that I fucked up. Be careful. And we'll find out. Coffee. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. I know, I know you're all angry, and I know you want to fight back, but I assure you violence is not the answer here. We are going to tell them peacefully that we want justice, and if there's any humanity in them, they will listen, and if not, others will take our place and continue this fight. Are you ready to follow me? Sorry, man. Just not one for drenching my hands in blood. I'm just not, I'm just not. I can't help it, I'm sorry. Alright y'all, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Detroit Becoming Human. I apologize to Kara for costing her a member of her family, which really sucked. Seeing Carl in that state was a little difficult. Yeah, it did. Mm -mm. It hurt. Seeing that made me think of back when my mom was alive. 
I got to see her in that state a whole lot. But yeah, we got everyone squared away. We chose our path. I'm not drenching my hands in blood, I'm sorry. If anyone doesn't like that I chose the way of peace. Oh well, sorry. I apologize, I guess. But you know what to do if you enjoyed this episode. Go down below, subscribe, slap that like button, turn on those notifications, and leave me a comment telling me what you thought of the choices that I made in this video. And I'll catch you in the next one, guys. Keep it crazy. Peace.